from Satoshi's writings, we can infer that one of the first intentions was for Bitcoin to be used as a way to transmit money, digital currency that had been first envisioned by the creators of the World Wide Web protocols. The idea of digital currency is tough for some people to grasp, but the interesting part is we're actually kind of using it already. Only 13% of all United States currency is physical, is represented physically by a bill or a coin. The other 87%? Just numbers in a ledger controlled by banks. So I definitely argue we're already digitizing currency. Is cryptocurrency that much different? No, not at all. So let's look at the functions of money and see if Bitcoin fulfills any of them, or more than one. So money has to be a store of value. A currency has to hold its value over time, otherwise people aren't going to use that as a medium of exchange. For example, let's say, again, I am selling apples. If I'm selling apples for a dollar, I get my dollar, and that dollar is worth only 50 cents the next day because of fluctuations in the currency. Well, it's not a very good store of value, and I'm probably not going to accept that form of currency. Additionally, money is a medium of exchange has to be used in order to uh, be exchanged for goods and services. This is actually something that also Bitcoin already does. There have been uh, examples of goods and services bought using Bitcoin. We'll get into one of those in a second. And then money also acts as a unit of account, which basically what that means is who has what funds at what given time. And while money, the current monetary system, is pretty good at that. Blockchains are even better because they have that receipt, that transparent receipt of every single transaction. So you can go back and look to see who had what at any given period in the blockchain's history. It's all there. So not only is Bitcoin a good unit of account, it's a transparent unit of account. We talked, or I briefly mentioned uh, the purchase of goods and services using Bitcoin, let's look at the first recorded purchase of a good using Bitcoin. And you've probably guessed, it's a pizza. So this was a pivotal moment in Bitcoin's history. First recorded good was purchased, paid for using cryptocurrency. A little bit more about this story. On May 22nd, now known and commemorated as Bitcoin Pizza Day, a man agreed to pay 10,000 Bitcoins, remember this was way back before Bitcoin had the value that is today, uh, 10,000 Bitcoins for two delivered Papa John's pizzas. This was organized via a forum, and he, uh, this was organized via a forum. He posted, I'll pay 10,000 Bitcoins for a couple of pizza, like maybe two large ones, so I have some over for the next day. Yes, that's an actual quote. So a London-based member of the forum first person was in New York, the guy who wanted pizza was in New York, a London-based member of the forum took him up on the offer, which was a fairly savvy move at the time, considering that the 10,000 Bitcoin at that time amounted to about $41, and he only had to spend, I think, 25 for the two pizzas. So that individual already came out ahead. So interesting thing happened. Bitcoin kind of exploded it in value from over here, Bitcoin Pizza Day, to where it is now. That 10,000 Bitcoin today is now worth over $95 million. Now, most people, if they give up that amount of Bitcoin that would later result in losing that much money, might be a little bit mad about it, but the individual who exchanged the Bitcoins for pizza says he doesn't really regret anything. He was just really excited to use the technology to prove it worked uh, in a real world setting. So many Bitcoin enthusiasts now get together on May 22nd in order to commemorate Pizza Day annually.